Okay, what's up guys? It's Cobra from codingwithcobra.com. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to cache images with SD web image. So you can also use Kingfisher. It's another popular one. This one has 24.5K stars on GitHub, as you can see here. Now, a lot of people give the recommendation not to use a bunch of packages, basically third-party libraries in your code. But with something like SD Web Image, I kind of disagree. Basically, what I'm saying is this, uh, this library or framework or whatever is pretty popular and pretty maintained. Um, they update things quite often. And I think sometimes people take the like not using too many libraries too far just because like you have it, you have a, uh, either a team or a developer who's maintaining a package. And I just think it's less prone to bugs. They probably found all the bugs that, you know, so that that's my um, spiel. But anyway, so you can Google SD web image. You can also Google Kingfisher. I'm sure both of them are easy to find. But what the main advantage with SD web image is image caching. Um, also image downloading is a little bit easier. And I mean, there's, there's a bunch of useful things about it. But anyway, so come here, come down to installation. Now there's two ways that, well, there's multiple ways, but the two ways, most popular ways is the Swift package manager and CocoaPods. Now, if you come down to Swift package manager, it would be somewhere here. You can copy this SD web image repo URL and copy that link. You can come to Swift and it's going to be somewhere here. So file add package at the top here, and then you would paste in the URL and it will give you this, and then you can add packages. And so that's a pretty easy way to do it. I usually use CocoaPod just because that's what I always have done. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. First thing you're going to want to do, I'm just going to go to my root directory. You're going to want to open up a terminal, do CD, and then drag this in here. Do LS if you're in this area here, you're too far in. So you can go back, LS. So we're in the right directory. You're gonna do pod init. It's gonna start up the pod file. And by the way, you can Google CocoaPods. It's pretty easy, easy to install. Um, you're just gonna run this sudo gem install and you should have gem already installed with Mac. So, so let's ls. So we have our pod file. We can just open our pod file. There we go. So now that you have your pod file, I'm just gonna make this bigger. We can delete this comment up here. We can delete this pound sign, change this to iOS 13, get rid of this comment here. Oops. And we need actually um, this whole thing is one comment. So delete that, delete this comment. Now what we're gonna say is pod, make sure pod is lowercase, it doesn't autocorrect on you. We're gonna do two single quotes and then inside there we're gonna say SD web image. So SDW is capital and then image, I is capital. So if we save that, close out of it, if we reopen our terminal, we can now do pod install. We're gonna have to close this Xcode instance. And then let's just do that again, just to make sure. Okay. So now we, as you can see, we have uh, iCrypt Pro dot Xcode proj, and we have uh, dot XE workspace. So now we need to use the XE workspace. We can't use the Xcode project. So open that up. I guess that's one of the benefits of the Swift package manager is you keep the Xcode project. It's a little bit easier. Okay, so now you have two things. You have your app name and pods. Let's just go into your app name. Okay, so X, uh, SD web image is pretty easy. So I'm gonna go into my coin cell, which is where one of my images are. And what we're gonna do, the first thing we need to do is we need to import at the top, import SD web image. Now we're gonna come down to, this is my old code for setting the image and it's much easier now. All we need to do is 
delete this and we're going to say self.coin logo dot sd underscore set image with coin dot logo url and we don't even need this completed so let's also do that in view crypto controller same exact thing uh but actually this is much easier now we don't uh wait do we need this callback no we don't so let's go into our view model as well we're going to delete a bunch of this we're going to delete our callback we're going to delete our load image function we're going to delete calling that and then it now go back and delete where we define that callback and all we're going to say is self dot coin logo dot uh, sd set image and then we're going to say self dot view model dot coin dot logo url so pretty easy so sd web image is pretty nice we can do a lot of things so sd set image um, basically you have placeholder images you have completed so with this you could start and stop a spinner you could you have a progress one here you have progress here so so if we open this up it gives us some integers and stuff so we can set like a progress with a i don't know what you call it like a loading thing like 50 percent complete and stuff like that um but yeah there's quite a bit you can do with it now the one thing i want to show you about sd web image is it does have uh, default cache limits so for our app with 150 cryptos it's just running now with 150 cryptos the cache is going to be too big so we can go into our or too small we can go into our scene delegate and we're going to import sd web image so what you can do is you can set things like the max uh disk size so this is in bytes what you can do is you can come into this like i don't know if this is a spray can here looks like a spray can to me but you can scroll down and you'll see if it's uh, if the network is being called because it will spike up the network activity so this would be much higher if um we're using the previous method because there was no caching what what's a what whatsoever but if we scroll down it doesn't look like there's much you can set the cache limit there are also might be like a cache count so how many things it will keep in uh the cache like 150 200 whatever it doesn't seem to be calling the network so i'm not sure but when we click in here pay attention to network right here we're gonna click oh there's nothing so maybe it all is cached maybe it's all good let's scroll down a bit Oh, we had some network for a second. Anyways, there's a whole ton of stuff that you can do with SD web image and um, it's definitely pretty useful. So if this helped, please click like. If you have, uh, if you want more Swift videos, then please subscribe. Any comments, uh, drop them down below and that's it. So thanks, peace.